Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Saturday, June 16th. This is for all signs. I would like you to keep in mind that this may not resonate with you. The timing is fluid. This is what I'm picking up on today. Could have happened yesterday, last week, whenever. Could be happening today, tomorrow, what, you know. Whenever it happens for you, okay. I will um, start doing them the other way with the iPhone once I, I get my little iPhone stand that or tripod or whatever you want to call it that I'm going to order today so that you guys can see a different view and I can change it up. So stay tuned for that. We have the Fool reversed, the Hermit, okay. Somebody needs to become aware. Somebody hasn't been aware. There's some reckless behavior, okay. Somebody is acting recklessly, being naive, needing to really take a step back and think about something. You really need to think about something long and hard, okay. Um, go within. Okay, because somebody is being naive by not thinking. I'm not haven't they haven't been thinking about the 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 long term um, re repercussions of some sort of action. So they need to really take a time out to step back and think about something in which they are. You know, they they they're being reckless. Somebody's being reckless and needing to to really think about something. Ooh, Five of Cups reversed. Ace of Swords be Oh my goodness, reversed. And the Seven of Swords reversed. Okay. So you're going to get caught in a pickle. Okay, you're going to get caught in a pickle if you don't see the truth of this situation, whatever it is. Somebody is being dishonest with themselves or somebody is being dishonest with you. Okay. There is a level of dishonesty here. Somebody isn't wanting to face it, you know, ignoring it, being naive, okay? Therefore, you know, it's going to cause some sort of trouble, okay? And you need to beware because you're going to beware. Be really careful because you're dealing with a situation in which you are being asked to really realize the truth of this situation, okay? So I'm not sure what this is, but it feels as though... Somebody is being dishonest, whether it's you being dishonest with yourself or, or somebody's being dishonest with you. You really need to take a step back and look at this from all angles, okay? Because eventually some truth is going to be revealed that may hurt, okay? It may hurt. It may cut you. It may sting, okay? So whatever this situation, you may have something going on in your life in which you are trying to pretend that it is all peaches and cream, but it's not, okay? Somebody is, is really being naive to the truth here. They are. We have the page of pentacles reversed. This is somebody who lacks integrity, lacks focus and concentration and backbone. Blocking. Blocking. Somebody is blocking the... The truth of, of a situation. I'm not sure why, but I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. That's it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to believe it. Somebody is absolutely needing to refocus on what the real situation is, okay? I feel as though somebody hasn't planned sufficiently. sufficiently. They aren't really thinking about the future. You know, they're not thinking about the... the uh, consequences of their actions and and something is going to happen that is going to 
to really wake you up, okay? And it may not be pretty, whatever it is, with that Seven of Swords reversed, okay? Somebody is refusing to wake up, okay? okay? KKK, okay, because both the Ace of Swords and the Judgment cards, they're both awakenings. Both of them, they're both reversed. Somebody is refusing to see the truth, accept the truth, tell the truth, whatever this is. Somebody doesn't want to know the truth or they don't know the truth, okay? There's lack of awareness here. Somebody is being absolutely naive to the truth. You are dealing with some dishonesty here. We have the page of swords reversed. There is a dishonest person in this mix. Somebody that is not trustworthy. Okay. And the truth is going to come out. And it's going to hurt when it does. Because somebody has chosen not to believe it. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. So, you know, that's, that's a sad story. But we're going to get this zoomed in. This does have to do with somebody that you are very familiar with, somebody that you have a past connection with, or a strong connection with, okay? This is, this is some sort of hindrance that has been plaguing you from the past. It is, it is. But I feel as though somebody really, really needs to find that strength and willpower and discipline to restrain themselves from this I think it's a deceptive situation whether it's you deceiving yourself or not somebody you know needs to move forward needs to move on needs to take the lead of their own life and they're 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 not okay they're not they're refusing to face opposition of some sort you know it's like there is some opposition but I don't I don't want to see it I don't want to believe it whatever this is somebody lacks integrity and I think it's it's inner integrity okay integrity with yourself I do I feel like somebody is um not wanting to believe the the conflicts that are that are real here there is some some undesirable um, conflicts in your in your situation in which you don't want to believe, but it but it's the truth. Okay, somebody um, has a lot of um, I think it's self-deceit. I really do. I feel like somebody is deceiving themselves by not seeing the truth. They're not wanting to express the truth. Not wanting to forgive even because there's a lack of forgiveness here. There's also a lack of communication. So it's, it's really, really interesting. It's like somebody isn't talking. And it's only hurting them. Somebody isn't communicating how they truly feel. And, it, and it's, and it's, it's self-deceit. Okay, it is. It's self-betrayal. I feel like you're robbing yourself. Of a new beginning. You are. You're robbing yourself of a, of a new beginning. These are mirroring each other. The Seven of Swords are mirroring the Fool reversed. There's an opportunity for a new beginning, but somebody is refusing to be honest. They are. There's a lot of dishonesty here, okay? Dishonesty. I mean, there is. I mean, these, these four cards. So there's a lot of dishonesty here. And it does have to do with somebody from your past. Somebody is just being dishonest about their true feelings, okay? The, they are. They are, and I feel like you are. Be you see the truth. You do see the truth, but you don't want to see the truth. But you're being called to move forward. You're being called to master your emotions and head in that direction. Okay, I feel like you have to replace that fear. You do. You have to replace that fear with faith. But in the meantime, while you're while you're gaining the strength and finding the strength and the backbone and the integrity to do the right thing, which somebody hasn't found yet, they're weak. 
it, you know, when you, while you're finding that, you, you need to take this time out to really make a plan, figure out what you're looking for, where you're going, take a step back. I mean, that's, that is the, to become self-aware, to become aware of, of the truth and take action. Become aware of the truth and take action. Okay, if you're looking for victory and success, you're going to have to do something about it, and that cut and that starts with making the plan and then moving forward. Okay, so I feel as though somebody is beginning to realize the truth, starting to restore their faith, but unable to communicate how they truly feel. So, this I mean, that's what this is refusing to wake up, refusing to forgive. Okay. Refusing to communicate, refusing to find the power to be honest. Okay, there's a lot of there. Like I said, I don't want to repeat myself. That somebody is being dishonest with their true feelings and refusing to forgive a situation. Um, I feel as though there's there is definitely difficulty in communication here. There's there's absolutely no doubt about it. Um, And this, this, the fact that you are unable to accept the truth, okay, the way that the universe works is they will continue to bring unexpected conflicts into your life until you stop betraying yourself. Do you know what I mean? That's the way the universe works. So if somebody is absent, this is this is this is self deceit. It really is. So I'm not sure who this is for. We're gonna get some more cards here. Somebody is beginning to see the truth about their past. The person, and you know, I'm not sure. The six of cups is someone from the past. It's the memories. It's it's nostalgia. It's it's a past connection and they're beginning to see the truth although they refuse to totally wake up I mean that is what this is um, they're just refusing they're being naive and and that's you know that's the way it is right oh it is it's a love connection it is this is a this is a soulmate connection it is it is because we have the six of cups we have this chariot card we have the two of cups I feel like this is a soulmate connection in which forgiveness is needed It's something that, you know, somebody has been, has been making some, some changes within themselves. They have, they've been going through some spiritual changes, um, a spiritual transformation, perhaps, um, freeing themselves from their old ways, making some conscious changes to, to change. And I feel like, you know, they've gained a lot of power and wisdom and clarity through through suffering, okay? I feel as though somebody... has been going through an awakening okay they have but they're refusing to to speak their truth they have they are they are i think somebody has made some serious changes they they've made some you know the magician is being willing to shed your past your old ways so that you can you can bring success to your life so i feel like and this is making conscious changes to let go of the baggage the Ten of Wands reverse in a, in a relationship. So I feel like somebody has made a lot of conscious changes to shed their old ways, to change, period. But they're still, they still fear communication. They have a lot of doubt, okay? The Judgment card is doubt. They still doubt that they will be received in a positive manner. So I feel as though... Action is needed because the magician is an action card. Somebody needs to take action. Somebody needs to oh, 
follow their passion and not let the past not let the past burdens hold them back and I think these are, these are past you know you've made conscious changes whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with somebody has made conscious changes to shed their old ways to change they have They've used the resources within them to make some serious changes as to who they are. But at this point, they still, they still fear that, they, that if, they, if they speak their truth, that they will that they'll be betrayed, they'll be rejected. I feel like they're really afraid of what, what they'll get back. You know, if I, if I follow... If I follow my desires, my heart, myself, if I follow what I, what I truly want, what if I'm not given another chance? You know, what if, what if I go down this road that I so much desire and I get rejected? I don't get offered this second chance. So I feel like that's a big deal. I feel like there is some fear here and you have to replace your fear with faith. Somebody is starting to to see the truth about a, a past situation. They've made a lot of changes. They are in love. Somebody is in love. They're, they are. But they don't have the backbone to communicate. They don't. They don't have the backbone to communicate because they, they fear rejection. They do. Somebody is fearing rejection and it's and it's and it is it's self betrayal because you won't know unless you try. So I think somebody has to find the resources within them to, to try to make a move to move forward. I think there's something in the past that has ended that somebody has done a lot of work on themselves through suffering and now they now they see the truth but they fear they fear conflict they fear rejection they fear hurt they fear being being betrayed you know if i if i move forward and face my fears towards this situation that i love they may not reciprocate so i feel as though you're trying to really be careful with accepting or expressing your own truth somebody is is afraid somebody is absolutely afraid to speak their true feelings that's the truth i mean that is what's going on you know somebody may fear that if they do something that they did in the past they'll get caught and they don't want to bring that up they don't want to bring any more burdens into this I feel as though there's a divine connection here between two people that hasn't needs it hasn't been concluded, okay? The conclusion hasn't happened yet. Whatever this is, there's no conclusion. Therefore, there's going to be continue to be obstacles thrown in your path until it's dealt with I mean there is there is so I think I feel as though there's a lot of baggage that needs to be removed via communication but somebody is refusing to communicate for fear of 
rejection. Your balance awaits it does. If you can find the power, the resources, the strength to take action in regards to what you love, your balance awaits. But you're going to have to take action. So I, I really feel like this is a day of coming up with a plan. In, in regards uh, in regards to how you are going to move in the direction of your true love coming up with a plan as to how you are going to move in the direction the chariot card of your true love it's going to take integrity backbone and faith Even if this doesn't turn out the way you had hoped, it needs to be dealt with so that you can continue on your path. It does. Forgiveness is needed. And somebody has to find the resources to start that process to see the truth, to accept the truth, to speak the truth. Even if it hurts. So I feel like today is a day of coming up with a plan in regards to moving forward towards a partnership. Okay? So whether this is your true love or a new partnership, there's, there's things in the past that you need to free yourself from still at this point. So, I feel as though today is a day of getting caught Not accepting the truth. And needing to find the resources to communicate even if it doesn't turn out the way you had hoped. Because closure is needed. Closure is needed here. It is. Either closure is needed or forward movement, okay? Something needs to happen. Somebody needs to communicate how they truly feel. And that's the truth here. Seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy, and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. This is oneness as well, as above, so below. Seek. And yeah, you do need to seek. You need to seek what you what you truly want in a partnership. And stop doubting your true feelings. Stop being naive. Stop acting res recklessly. Stop being weak. Stop not finding your backbone. You have to find your backbone to do the right thing that you know you need to do to move forward. Somebody needs to move forward and they haven't. Ground yourself, being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated, and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded. 
Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with the divine source. It's time to wake up. And somebody is refusing to wake up. So anyway, I feel like today is a day of taking a time out to really figure out where you're going, what you want, who you are, and how you're going to move forward. And allowing the universe to guide you. Anyway, this is a long one, I know, but this is what I have for today. Talk to you later.